Hello guys, my name is Jesper Nissen and I'm, I am the creator of Yax. In this video I will show you how to use the uh, file upload feature when you're, create, when you're generating FAQ questions for your websites. So, and I will show you two things. I will show you how to use the um, built-in sample file that we provide with Yax. And I will also show you how to scrape questions from Google and paraphrase them to use in your websites. So first things first, let me show you how to use the sample file that we provide. So I click generate new websites. I click, uh, I create a, uh, you know, my beautiful design here. It's like this. And um, then I'm going down to FAQ. So <clears throat> what I do now is I download sample templates and it's now downloaded. And uh, what I do then is I open it in Google Sheets. If you open it in Google ex in uh, Microsoft Excel, you know, try to copy and paste the lines, it will not work because Google Excel or Microsoft Excel will, I don't know, uh, it will mess with the file so it doesn't work. So you need to use Google Sheets. So what I do is I go to Google Sheets. And Google Sheets is of course free if you have a Google account, but you do. So I click on File, I click on Import, I click on Upload, select file from my device. And it is uh, this guy here, Sample FAQ 12, open. And Import Data. And you can now see that uh, we have five columns, question, answer, keywords, headline and name. So um, the question and answer is the only thing that's actually shown in the website. The keywords, the headline and the name, it's only showed in the schema code and it's only used to, uh, as a way for you to insert extra entities. So anyway, so what you can do is you want more than one line. So you simply copy and paste, 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 paste. <clears throat> so now we have six questions. How one, how two, how three, how four, how five, how six. So once you are happy with your um, you know, questions and answers and keywords and what have you, you can now download this file here, download, download as a CSV. And then you can go over to Yax and you can simply browse and you can upload it here. You can see here how one, two, three, four, five, six, click upload. And what Jax will now do is Jax will now generate the uh, question and answers and it has now generated six questions and answers. And of course you can also you know, type in here and click preview. The time and is 12 o'clock p.m. So that's, uh, that's the first way how to work with the file upload feature. Uh, the second way is probably the way that most of you will uh, actually work with uh, these FAQ questions. So, um, and that's uh, scraping questions of Google. So here's one way to do that. Uh, I am using a plugin called SEO Minion and it's free and it's for Google Chrome. So you can download this plugin called SEO Minion and enable it. So what uh, then will happen is that when I now search for yeah. What is link building? Then over to the right, SEO Minion will appear here and will enable you to download uh, the PAA questions. The people also ask question and answers. So it will simply scrape and click for you and download them and compile them into a, a sheet Then you can then import into Google Sheets. So let me show you how that works. I will now only click down to two levels because otherwise it will take too long. So I click two levels, PAA, I click go. Now it clicks for me and it's already done. And I go over to Google, Sheet, Google Sheets and I'll click uh, new spreadsheets. And I'll click file, import, upload, select file from my device. And just this guy here, open. Import data. And uh, there you have it. You have now the questions and answers. Uh, 
So you can see here you have the title. Uh, obviously, this is the question, and then you have the parent. This is also the question. So, uh, so, and then you have the text. This is the answer. You have the URL and URL title. So we don't need the URL title, and we don't need the URL answer. Um, and the text is actually the the answer to the question. I will actually paste this in here. So what I did was I marked the entire column and I clicked Control X, and then I put the cursor here and I click Control V, because that means that I have now moved the questions over to number two column. So if you remember from over here, you have the answer in number two column, and then let me write answer here. So it's very clear for you. Uh, and we have the question over here. Uh, it is not necessary to write question here, but I'm just doing it for you. So um, yeah, and I have now one. I have ten questions here. I can simply no. I can choose now to uh, to paraphrase in here, or I can you know rewrite it here, or I can uh, import it over to Yax. Let me just uh, download as CSV file. And now it's download and I go over to Yax and I'm generating a new website. One, one, one. I'm going down to FAQ. I click browse and I click uh, upload. There's this guy here. So, what I do now, uh, what I did now was I now created uh, 10 FAQ questions very quickly. And I click preview. And I can see the questions down here. So this is uh, extremely nice and a uh, fast way. Uh, and of course, I should mention that what I did now, I, si I simply copied the text from Google as it is. So you would want to paraphrase, you know, rewrite the content so that it's not a copy of what you found on Google, obviously. So, um, but anyway, I'm just showing you how it works. And how you work with it, that is, of course, up to you. Um, so, one last thing is that uh, if I'm building a mass page website, let me say I have uh, one, two, three, four, five. I have five pages. Let me click preview. Uh, I have all these questions here. So, if I'm building five pages, I might want to randomize my questions. So I click randomize and this FAQ start interval and this FAQ end interval, it defines how many questions will be placed on each page. So if I type three and three, then for each page there will be three questions. One, two, three. So if I type from one to three, then for on each page there will be either one or two or three questions. So if I click preview now, it has one, and I click preview now. It has one, I click preview now. It has also one. What happens if I click two to five? Let's see here. It has five now. So uh, yeah, it's it's random, or it should be random, and I know that it is random, I can click generate. <clears throat> so let me show the website that I just generated. Uh, page one has two questions. Page two has three questions. Page three has five questions, etc., uh, etc. Et so uh, uh, page four has zero questions, and page five has also zero questions. Hmm. Okay, so there's a small bug there. <clears throat> anyway, so what it should do is uh, that it, it should actually take, you know. Your questions and distribute them dis distribute them randomly across the website and um, and when you're watching this this that bug, bug will be fixed so uh, i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you learned something from it and uh, yeah let me know in the questions if you uh, uh, let me know type a question if you have a question or yeah take care and enjoy